Hello guys and thanks for coming to my YouTube channel Blender Ustad. In this video we will rig a simple character but with advanced settings and it's very easy but before starting the video I want to give you some information about the add-on which I'm using to rig the character. So first of all it's a paid add-on but it's super cool and when I use it for the first time uh, it blows my mind. So secondly i want to tell you that i am not a sponsor of this add-on but i just saw it and i thought i i want i need to make a video on it so let's get started and see the result how is it looking so i hope you uh, you will love the result and now let's get started that where can you download it so you can download it from the blender market i will put a link in the description so it will be easy for you to download it so purchase it it's only $40 and if you see the workflow and the feature of this add-on so I think it's the price is nothing for it so let's get started that how can you use it first of all you need to open a blender you can uh, use any blender version now go to the edit and go to the preference and now search for the add-on uh, sorry install the add-on so browse it where you save it so there is it you need to double click on it and then search for the add-on auto rig so I already take it you need to take it and then save it and then close it up and then we will go to the uh, character Go for the character which i have this one so if you want to use the same character you can download it i will put a link in the description first of all select all of the clothes so i will start from the jacket and then i will move on to the shoes and the hairs the eyebrows and then in the last just care for this thing that you don't select the eye we don't need to select the eyes and then in the last we need to select the body and now press N and go to this menu and go to this option and select the get started now simply press on the add neck and grab the circle to the place where is the character neck now add chin and place it where the character chin and now click on the add shoulders and then add wrinkles add spine root do it from the both side but if you did it from the one side it's also fine but it, it's better to do it from the both side Now click on the facial setup and here is the eyebrows so we need to grab it to the eyebrows so I turn on the proportional editing with connected only to make the matching easy so just grab the eyebrows setup to the eyebrow and this circle is for the eyes so I just grab it and then I scale it a bit and this one is for the ears just grab it and this is for the face and this one is for the mouth so I again turn on the proportional editing to make it easier so just grab it and try to roughly match it this one is for the nose so I will put it somewhere around there and this the last one is for the uh, chin okay so now we will go to the object mode select the eyeball and click on this option so it will automatic automatically pick it remember that we just need the 
right eye okay and now click on the go option here and just wait sometimes it's different on your computer now I, I have the 8 GB RAM so it's a little bit slow but if you have a higher RAM then it won't take much long okay so now it converted to the bones now we need to match it to rig and this option will bring all the bones to the advanced uh, bones shapes and to the advanced facial setup something like this and now we'll we'll go to the object mode and select all the clothes again just like we did it at first now in the last select the rig and then go to the skin and click on the bend it will again take some time so it's done now just we need, need the last step which is selecting the eyeball and then going to the group and then simply add a group name it as eye right And then assign that group and go to the modifier setting and add a simple armator modifier and then select the rig now we need to do the same process to the second eyeball just name it C I left you can choose any name and we'll again add the rig so now select the rig and go to the pause mode and Check the result it can sometime it can cause the wet painting problems a little bit but in my case now it's pretty much fine so I really love the result I think you will also loved it so just download the add-on and it will make your life easier so I hope you like the result and you like the video so if you really like it then give me a like and subscribe to the channel for more videos for now bye